Vines, plants, uh, when they started evolving onto our land, onto, on, onto the world, uh, microflora had been on, our la on the planet for almost two billion years before that happened. It's remarkable. So when vines or, or a plant put their, their roots down into the ground, they weren't getting their nutrition off the, directly out of the rock. They can't metabolize minerals directly out of the rock. They get their nutrition from the soluble exudates or the byproducts of the microflora of our soil. So as our craft is to try and get a plant to be receptive and therefore reflective of our soil, our true craft is actually to understand the medium, the vector that allows that to happen. And uh, for better or for worse as farmers, we've stuck in a single place and we're taking energy off that place. And so we have to find a way that we can replenish that energy, metabolize more of those minerals out of the soil into a um, form that the vines can then feed off, especially if we want them to be reflective uh, perpetually of that, of that same site. So we can, uh, since the Green Revolution, we've been taking stored forms of energy from somewhere else and putting them on the planet in the shape of uh, uh, um, soluble fertilizers, nitrates and what have you. Uh, this is not the notion of terroir. This is not um, uh, maintaining a floor that can um, metabolize something, out, um, nutrition into, into what the vines can feed off. And so what compost is, is taking all of the um, uh, living matter that is issued off the land and putting it into a place that grows single cellular organisms. Compost is not food, it's not an additive, it's inoculation of beneficial microflora for the whole property that is drawn into the land and then starts metabolizing minerals directly out of the soil into a form and working in some symbiosis with the vine roots so that the vines can be receptive to their site. So then are you conscious of what you're feeding those animals because it's coming back out of them? It's all coming off the land. We have a, we have a, uh, the, the, the cattle uh, grazing rip in land. Uh, in the winter we, um, we, uh, uh, we take headland hay off the land uh, and feed it to the cows over winter. Uh, we take all of the vine prunings and mulch them up and store those. All of the um, byproducts of the of the fermentation um, process, so uh, skins, pips, um, uh, stems, uh, leaves, uh, everything that comes out of that. Uh, headland hay, um, that's to say all of the wildflowers and grasses off the property, are all brought together and put into a compost and then that compost is, uh, it just becomes life.